Routledge is a British multinational publisher. It was founded in 1836 by George Routledge, and specializes in providing academic books, journals, and online resources in the fields of humanities, behavioral science, education, law and social science. The company publishes approximately 1,800 journals and 5,000 new books each year and their backlist encompasses over 70,000 titles. Routledge is claimed to be the largest global academic publisher within humanities and social sciences. In 1998, Routledge became a subdivision and imprint of its former rival, Taylor and Francis Group T and F, as a result of a 90 million pounds acquisition deal from Sinvon, a venture capital group which had purchased it two years previously for 25 million pounds. Following the merger of Informer and TNF in 2004, Routledge became a publishing unit and major imprint within the Informer academic publishing division. Routledge is headquartered in the main TNF office in Milton Park, Abingdon, Oxfordshire, and also operates from TNF offices globally, including in Philadelphia, Melbourne, New Delhi, Singapore, and Beijing. Topic history The firm originated in 1836, when the London bookseller George Routledge published an unsuccessful guidebook, The Beauties of Gilsland with his brother-in-law W. H. William Henry Warner's assistant. In 1848 the pair entered the booming market for selling inexpensive imprints of works of fiction to rail travellers, in the style of the German Tauchnitz family, which became known as the «Railway Library». The venture was a success as railway usage grew, and it eventually led to Routledge, along with W. H. Warne's brother Frederick Warne, to found the company, George Routledge & Co., in 1851. The following year in 1852, the company gained lucrative business through selling reprints of Uncle Tom's Cabin, in the public domain in the UK which in turn enabled it to pay author Edward Bulwer-Lytton £20,000 for a 10-year lease allowing sole rights to print all 35 of his works including 19 of his novels to be sold cheaply as part of their «Railway Library» series. The company was restyled in 1858 as Routledge, Warne and Routledge when George Routledge's son, Robert Warne Routledge, entered the partnership. Frederick Warne eventually left the company after the death of his brother W. H. Warne in May 1859 died aged 37. Gaining rights to some titles, he founded Frederick Warne & Co. in 1865, which became known for its Beatrix Potter books. In July 1865, George Routledge's son Edmund Routledge became a partner, and the firm became George Routledge and Sons. By 1899, the company was running close to bankruptcy. Following a successful restructuring in 1902 by scientist Sir William Crookes, banker Arthur Ellis Franklin, William Swan Sonnenschein as managing director, and others, however, it was able to recover and began to acquire and merge with other publishing companies including J. C. Nimmo Ltd. in 1903. In 1912 the company took over the management of Keegan Paul, Trench, Trubner & Co., the descendant of companies founded by Charles Keegan Paul, Alexander Chenevix Trench, Nicholas Trubner, and George Redway. These early 20th century acquisitions brought with them lists of notable scholarly titles, and from 1912 onward, the company became increasingly concentrated in the academic and scholarly publishing business under the imprint Keegan Paul Trench Trubner, as well as reference, fiction, and mysticism. In 1947, George Routledge and Sons finally merged with Keegan Paul Trench Trubner the umlaut had been quietly dropped in the First World War under the name of Routledge and Keegan Paul. Using C. K. Ogden and later Karl Mannheim as advisors the company was soon particularly known for its titles in philosophy, psychology and the social sciences. In 1985, Routledge and Keegan Paul joined with Associated Book Publishers ABP, which was later acquired by International Thomson in 1987. Under Thomson's ownership, Routledge's name and operations were retained, and, in 1996, a management buyout financed by the European private equity firm Sinvon saw Routledge operating as an independent company once again. Just two years later, Sinvon and Routledge's directors accepted a deal for Routledge's acquisition by Taylor and Francis Group T and F, with the Routledge name being retained as an imprint and subdivision. In 2004, T and F became a division within Informer plc after a merger. 
Routledge continues as a primary publishing unit and imprint within Informer's academic publishing division, publishing academic humanities and social science books, journals, reference works and digital products. Routledge has grown considerably as a result of organic growth and acquisitions of other publishing companies and other publishers' titles by its parent company. Humanities and social sciences titles acquired by T&F from other publishers are rebranded under the Routledge imprint. People The famous English publisher Frederick Warburg was a commissioning editor at Routledge during the early 20th century. Novelist Nina Stibb, author of Love, Nina, worked at the company as a commissioning editor in the 1990s. Authors <laughs> <laughs> Routledge has published many of the greatest thinkers and scholars of the last hundred years, including Adorno, Bohm, Butler, Derrida, Einstein, Foucault, Freud, Hayek, Jung, Levi Strauss, McLuhan, Marcuse, Popper, Russell, Sartre and Wittgenstein. The republished works of these authors have appeared as part of the Routledge Classics and Routledge Great Minds series. Competitors to the series are Verso Books Radical Thinkers, Penguin Classics and Oxford World's Classics. Works Taylor and Francis closed down the Routledge Print Encyclopedia division in 2006. Some of its publications were Routledge Encyclopedia of Philosophy, by Edward Craig 1998, in ten volumes, but now online. Encyclopedia of Ethics, by Lawrence C. Becker and Charlotte B. Becker 2002, in three volumes, reference works by Europa Publications, published by Routledge Europa World Yearbook International Who's Who Europa World of Learning, many of Routledge's reference works are published in print and electronic formats as Routledge Handbooks and have their own dedicated website, Routledge Handbooks Online. The company also publishes several online encyclopedias and collections of digital content such as Routledge Encyclopedia of Philosophy, Routledge Encyclopedia of Modernism Routledge Performance Archive, and South Asia Archive. <laughs> <laughs> Book series Colloquial by Routledge Morley's Universal Library, also known as Routledge's Universal Library, The Muses Library, The Republic of Letters, Routledge's Railway Library. Topic. See also. Category: Routledge Academic Journals. Category: Routledge Books.